So in the morning, I have been finding time when it's quiet and um, and I have the chickens with me. That's Tanisha. Anyway, procrastinating. <laughs> my green power drink and with my nice cup of coffee. I've been just slowly reading through this script to see, you know, just to refresh myself, refresh my mind at the whole thing. And um, this was the prompt script that the fabulous Erin um, at San, in San Francisco <coughs> called her Hughes Room. It's a pretty clean script. So I'm just checking facts again. Like when was she in the Waldorf Astoria? And um, maybe it's a good time to see what she was doing. January 6th today. So two months from today, this will all have been a memory. <laughs> so 1937, she was at La Boite à Vitesse in Nice. Mm. 1938, she was doing a tour um, with the ABC crowd. That's a music hall in Paris, and this guy, Raymond Dassault, actually got her her debut there, opening up for Charles Trenet. 1939, around this time, she she's traveling. Ah, 1940s, she's the Cabaret L'Amiral with Paul Maurice, very torrid love affair that she had. Not mentioned in Piaf, Love Conquers All, but uh, Paul Maurice was in a show that Jean Cocteau wrote specifically for Piaf. There she is with Jean Cocteau, called um, Le Bel Indifférent, and um, it was pretty much a autobiography story. One woman show, just her, Paul lying on a bed with a uh, newspaper. So this is the album that I bought, the recording of Piaf doing it. So great to hear her voice in this. It's in French. And, wow, that drawing looks so much like my set. I think this might have been the inspiration for my set when I saw a clip of this in a documentary of Piaf doing it. Yeah, I think this is it. Cool! Did you like that, Momo? We're going to listen to the whole thing. But you guys don't have to listen. Thanks for watching.